goodness, he about pulled the rod out of my hand. Hey, what's up folks? Chris Souders, Catfish Crazy. Welcome to this week's episode where we're gonna be hitting the Mississippi River, doing a little bit of blue cat fishing, catching some really nice fish with a good friend. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back, folks. I'm here with Benji Brown. Benji, thanks for coming out today. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. We're on the Mississippi River. We're going to be doing some blue cat fishing. Uh, we're going to be doing a variety of different things out here, Benji. I know you from South Carolina, mm -hmm. and you love blue cat fish. Oh, yeah. Now, this is completely different, isn't it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Completely out of my territory. But we're going to have fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to do some back bounce. We're going to do some dead sticking, probably. Uh, a lot of different variety of things. Just try to figure out the day as we go and uh, have a good time. So Absolutely. You ready to get after it? I'm looking forward to it. I am All ready. Right. Folks, stick around. We're going to get after it and try to catch some fish. All right, so the bait of choice today, we're going to be using skipjack herring. We're just going to, a couple different ways of cutting it, you know, that I like to cut it. What seems to be working here lately is cut that gut pocket out. Some people use it. I just get rid of it. And I'm gonna flay, flay that side off one side. Come, flay the other side off. Cut that backbone out. Now, this is one good piece. That's a, what I would consider a fair sized fish or a big fish bait. And then with these fillets, now you can put two hooks in them and use the whole filet. But uh, something I like to do is to cut them in half. And you're getting the same flavor, same scent as a whole filet, but kind of in a more compact, smaller piece of bait. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Get them on the hook, put the fish in the boat. There you go. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> I hear you. Old Mississippi River blue cats. Oh, good way to start the morning. Very nice. Beautiful sunrise. Some fish. Now we're bumping down through here and we're just kind of slowing it down a little bit. I'm using about a four ounce weight. Get it out behind the boat a little piece farther. And Benji's using a six ounce weight to keep it a little bit closer to us. That way we're covering two, two links behind the boat. Got a, about a two and a half mile an hour current speed. And I'm just slowing it down to about a mile and a half an hour. Just enough to get that four ounce to walk back through there a little piece. I think he's gonna come up over here, buddy. All right. Looks like a good fish. Oh, it feels like a nice fish. That warrior cat stretched out. Very yeah, nice. nice fish. Very nice. Very nice. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, it took that big old skipjack head. Nice fish. Yeah. Look how clean he is. Beautiful. These blue cats here on the Mississippi are so clean. You know, people think about the old muddy Mississippi, Benji, but look how clean that fish clean. is. Now, let's get him back. Now, Benji, let's talk about bumping 
a little bit or back bouncing as some people call it. You know, me, I like to use a good stiffer rod, you know, like this where you have bumping rod and a low profile reel so everything is nice and light, fits in my hand light, you know, and if I need to let line out, I got a thumb trigger and you know, these Revos, they got a nice power handle on them. But me personally, I like to do it sideways, you know, and you know, I notice you, you lift it straight up and down. <clears throat> you know, two different ways of bumping. But why don't you explain to them, the viewers, you know, how you're doing it and why you're doing it. I'm trying to hop it up over the log, the hole, whatever that bottle giving us. And I think picking it back up, hips it, pops it back up over a log, pack, pops it over a rock. I've had some pretty good guys tell me how to do it and you one of them. And it's just everybody does it different that I've seen. Now we use, we use braid, you know, for this because it's a high sensitivity style of fishing, a very finesse style of fishing. So you need to be able to feel a lot. And with mono, mono will absorb a lot of the feel. So by using braid, that allows you to be able to feel everything like he's talking about, the rocks, the mud, the sand, the logs. And whenever you feel it, you know, come up against that, you pick it up and let it down and you walk it up over top of that stuff. Now you will get snagged up and it can be frustrating, but, but, uh, but boy, when you get that hit, it is an absolute blast, you know. Now we're using, you know, monofilament leaders, you know, cause we want a good, uh, you know, something that can take abrasion real good. And mono, a good heavy mono leader, like 80 pound leaders that we're using uh, work really well. And you can set it up a couple different ways. You know, we're fishing two different ways today. We got a, I got a really long leader on, you know, about a four foot. And Benji, you got what, about a two and a half? Yes. And you know, both of them are working, but, uh, but we're gonna, you know, try to figure out and fine tune uh, throughout the day which one maybe they want more. You know, shorter sinker leader or a longer sinker leader. So let's we'll keep after it. See if we can't get some more fish. What do you think? Like sea Arc Boats is a proud sponsor of Catfish Crazy. Our boats are built for superior durability and stability. Whether you fish on calm waters or the chop of a big lake, our commitment to quality and design ensure a smoother ride than our competition. We feature several lines of boats to meet your fishing needs like the Easy Cat, the Pro Cat Series, and the River Cat Series. All of our boats are designed with the input of anglers who use them, and that has led us to be the number one catfish boat for over 10 years. Sea Arc Boats built for a lifetime. Visit SeaArcBoats.com and make Sea Arc the boat for your next adventure. Tackle Bandit is your one-stop shop for all your catfishing needs. We have terminal tackle, cast nets, reels, lines, sinkers, planer boards, demon dragons, crappie jigs, sabiki rigs. We offer free shipping on orders over $100. Find us at TackleBandit.com. Hey, what's up folks? Chris Souders, Catfish Crazy, and I choose Suzuki Outboards for their amazing performance, outstanding warranty, but most importantly, because Suzuki gives me the confidence to go anywhere on the water and know that I can make it back safely. Check out the ultimate four-stroke outboard at suzukimarine.com and make Suzuki your next outboard. Catfish Crazy is brought to you by these quality sponsors. Sea Arc, boats built for a lifetime. Warrior Cat Rods, for cat fishermen, by cat fishermen. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Fitech Cast Nets, when only the best will do. S <laughs> oh, fish on, fish on. And just like that, Benji, we're talking about bumping and and then it, it <laughs> works. You put one, put one on that on that hook, buddy. This is just the funnest part. It's just fighting them, letting them do their thing. 
It's the only reason we're out here. These fish out here on this Mississippi, they fight so hard. They do. You know, they fight these currents all the time and they are just solid muscle. We like to see them bubbles. Means we're doing our part to take care of these fish. Nice fish. Another nice one. There we go. Awesome. Good job, brother. Well, that is pretty neat, isn't it? Yep. He's had a rough. Now look at there. Look at that. He's had a. He's gotten hit by a, something, ain't he? Yeah. Something's gonna tore him up. He's healed back pretty fine. Yeah. He's still healthy looking, isn't he? It's amazing what these fish can endure and uh, you know make it through. You know, usually got my paddle on the end, fanned out, but he's about halfway gone on the back. It looks like it's not bothering him for eating. No, he, <laughs> look at that big old fat belly on him. <laughs> he's eating fine. Get him, get him, Bidgey. Yep, he just hit the bottom. Get him, Bidgey. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Benji, now I'm gonna take a minute here and I want you to talk about your jersey. Oh, you yeah. know, you got a special jersey on that means a lot to you. That means a lot to me, you know. I mean, you're, you're a great friend of mine and we've known each other for a long time. And so, you know, tell people what that jersey really means. Well, the jersey has the uh, purple accents and the purple is for uh, pancreatic cancer purple. I lost a good friend, uh, girlfriend, a few years ago. Just love this fishing. Love this blue cat fishing. I think I have You lassoed. got him lassoed, Benji. Lassoed. <laughs> we'll get him however we can. <laughs> we'll take him how we can. So you, you know, finish telling them a little bit while you're showing them that fish. Yeah, she uh, she got pancreatic cancer, passed away a few years ago, and uh, just in remembrance, really. She loved this fishing. She caught a 62 pounder at uh, James River when the first time I ever took her to James River. Yeah. Yes, she did. She was. She loves good, this stuff. She was a good woman, and she's and, fishing and, uh, up in heaven. And a great fisherman. Absolutely. Not the biggest one of the day, but still. Hey, well, fun fish. They all got to start. You know, and these, these fish this size here are the future, you know? And they're eating. <laughs> they're eating. Look at him. He looks like me. <laughs> a big old pot belly on him. Look how pink his fins are. Oh, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful fish. fish. And look, muscle. Look at that muscle. Golly, I wish, <laughs> wish I had muscle like that, Benji. <laughs> Don't we all? Go up, be a big one. Yes, sir. Good job, brother. All right, folks, we're driving back this little backwater, and uh, this is an Asian carp, jumping carp, silver carp, as some people call them. They make up a lot of the biomass in this river and make an excellent, excellent bait. If they, and they will jump airborne. If they jump in your river, don't throw, or jump in your boat, don't throw them back. Put them in a cooler, cut them up for bait. They're good bait. Offshore Tackle is the number one selling planer board brand worldwide. Often imitated, but never duplicated, we are the leader in trolling technology. With three sizes of planer boards, we offer a variety of releases and weight systems to get your baits right down to the fish. Models we make include the popular OR37 SST Pro Mag Planer. The OR37 will pull heavier weights better than any other planer board, and they're made in the USA. The best in the market when it comes to quality, durability, and performance is Offshore Tackle. When it comes to grabbing bait, the cast net you use should perform at its best every single throw. Every cast net at Phytech is made with care and precision. That's why most fishermen prefer the Super Spreader cast net over competing cast net brands. With over 100 different cast net models, Phytech truly has a cast net for everyone. Maximum spread with the fastest sinking rate, that's the Super Spreader promise.
Visit www.castnets.com to find a dealer near you. Like many of you, I've had back issues. From the pounding waves of Lake Erie. To over 30 years of competitive angling. And a lifetime on the water, but not anymore. Smooth moves change the game. It's a must have for me and my clients. It's like my boat is floating on air. They're easy to install. Fully adjustable. It makes a day on the water a whole lot more comfortable. Smooth your ride with smooth moves. Catfish Crazy is brought to you by these quality sponsors. Slunger Cat Outdoors. Offshore Tackle. Extreme Bait Tanks. Demon Dragons. Taco Bandit. Marine Masters Trailers. Smooth Move Seats. Now Benji, you're out here today with me and you've been fishing tournaments for how many years? Oh, seven, eight years. And we met probably, what, five years ago? I believe so. You know, we've, uh, we've been fishing with Warrior Cat Rod Company for several years and have become good friends you know, through that pro staff program. And, and it's been a pleasure, you know, just to know you and, and uh, have the opportunity to get you out here and, and uh, fish Mississippi with us. I appreciate now, you, the invite. You normally fish out east coast with, uh, what's it, southeast? Southeastern Catfish Club. Southeastern Catfish Club. Lakes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Catawba River chain lakes. Catawba River. That's what it is. I got them, uh, they got a few lakes that we hit. It's a uh, spring, fall, I should say fall, winter, a little bit in spring. We don't do it in the summertime. Yeah, you get a lot of pleasure boaters in the summertime. A lot of pleasure don't you? boaters. And yeah. You get the spawn, it hits, it messes it up. So really, yeah, uh, fall is the best time. So if somebody was to come out there fishing, you would recommend fall, fall winter? Fall, winter. Just spring. like everywhere, winter is great. The big fish feed better in the winter. Yeah. We enjoy it. Yeah. I agree with that. That's a, that's a good tip and a good statement there. Fish on. Oh, it got a little drag in it. Easy with him. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh oh. Hey. I like this one. You like that one? Yes. Do I need to drop the troll motor? I wish I could tell you yes, but as of right now, it's coming in like it's supposed to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a barge coming up river. Got a Mississippi blue cat coming up high. Tell you what, Benji, he's got a pretty nice bend in that rod. I'm gonna go ahead and kill a troll motor, make it easier on you and him. We appreciate it. <laughs> Get some more slime in this net. I love this bumping. This it's, bumping is completely different, but I love it. It's fast action, you know, finesse fishing, just one rod, one piece of bait, you know. it. And it's enough to keep up with. Yeah, and it keeps you active. You know, you're you're constantly doing something. You're constantly uh, feeling bottom. You know, time flies by. I mean, when you're doing this, but it can be tiring, especially when you're reeling in big blue cats. <laughs> He'll probably try to take another run right there on you. I backed off the drag just a little bit, just in case he wants to show off. Come on up. Benji, you got a decent fish here, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me some, brother. <laughs> Boom, baby. Man, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, you gonna smack you around a little bit. <laughs> Uh, look at that big old fat belly on him. 
<laughs> Been eating good. Man, look at that. That's beautiful, beautiful fish. That big old tail. Golly, you know, I mean, I'm no small fella by no means. Look at that tail. That is nice. Beautiful fish. Well, I appreciate fish. you having me. Uh, let's get another one. Absolutely. I think we got a good one here, buddy. When it comes to catfishing, Warrior Cat Rods are the definition of durability. You need to upgrade your tackle. Heavy current, big fish, like these, you know, these Warrior Cat heavy rods are. Able to handle the heaviest of catfish. These amazing rods feature a beautiful finish, evenly spaced guides for maximum casting distance, and are supported by an unbelievable backbone. Let the next big takedown be with Warrior Cat Rods, for cat fishermen, by cat fishermen. Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Catfish Crazy, and today I'd like to take a moment to talk to you guys about Demon Dragons. Demon Dragons were invented to keep your baits elevated up into the water column while dragging or drifting, and to also add some noise and vibration to pick up some of those finicky bites like those flatheads are notorious for. So check them out, tacklebandit.com, and let us know what you think. Have you ever heard the old saying, you get what you pay for? We could not agree more. It is Extreme's mission statement to build the highest quality bait tanks and accessories on the market today. Using the best materials and craftsmanship, couple that with lightning fast shipping and unheard of customer service, that's our definition of you get what you pay for. As always, you can visit us at ExtremeBaitTanks.com for products, sizes and pricing because a great day of fishing starts with a great live bait. And until then, have an extreme day. Fish on. Fish on. Easy. Easy. Looks like a good fish, Benji. I hope so. Double up, baby. Uh-uh. <laughs> hit him just right. Very nice. Oh, man. Folks, this is a, <laughs> this nice. is a blast. I appreciate the invite, Chris. This is fun. Yeah, man. I, you know, people. People just some people. You know, places they don't understand what kind of resource they have with these fish, and how much fun it can be. You know, uh, now bumping is something that takes a little bit of time to learn, and you know that. Absolutely. Uh, you know, some people can't just come out here and do it. it takes practice, but but you get the hang of it and it can be absolutely fun. And they hit it like a freight train, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Nice, oh yeah, Benji, let me get the net, brother. <laughs> Sit mine right there in the rod holder for a second. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir, Benji. You get that one. I'll get try to get mine in. Go ahead. Oh, just like that, you know, things can things can happen so fast and crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. One thing I like to do whenever I'm bringing these fish up is bring them up slow out of this deeper water. We're catching these fish in about 70 foot of water. Right on the edge of a, a revetment bank, right on the mud. So I like to bring them up slow and let them decompress all the air out of them. And it's just fun. Fun to feel that fight, Benji. If you want to go ahead and get Take care of him, and I'll uh, I'll I'll net this fish. I think I got a nice fish on too, Benji. Oh you. yeah, that will help you. Yeah, go ahead and net that fish for me, please. Back over here, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, folks. 
You got him, Benji, or has he got you, brother? A little bit of both, I think. <laughs> uh, hold on to him. <laughs> yes, Benji, this is... This is fun. This has been a blast, man. I, I have had an absolute blast out here today. <laughs> I mean, and you know, what a way to close the day. Oh, yeah. We've had a blast out here. Catch some new, really nice fish and to end it on a double. Can't beat that. <laughs> Can't beat that, brother. Well, hey, folks, thanks for watching Catfish Crazy. Make sure you turn in next week for more Catfish Crazy like we are. Thanks for watching. For more Catfish Crazy, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.